Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Chal Posadas. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to file a report of marriage here in USA. So without further ado, let's get right to it. By the way guys, report of marriage must be filed by Filipino overseas who contracted their marriage abroad or outside the Philippines so that their marriage will be registered to the Philippine Statistics Authority in the Philippines. How do you know where to file your report of marriage? You can check it through Consulate Finder map. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. So let's say for example, you live here in California but your marriage contracted in New York. So let's check in the Consulate Finder map. So New York belongs to the Philippine Consulate General in New York. Therefore, you have to mail your documents to the Philippine Consulate General in New York. As for me, I got married here in California. So, I've mailed my documents to the Philippine Consulate General in Los Angeles. Take note guys, each Philippine Embassy or Philippine Consulate can have different process or different set of requirements. I have submitted my documents to the Philippine Consulate General in Los Angeles, so here are the requirements. Number one, covering letter. It can be handwritten or typed. Address to the Civil Registry section indicating service or transaction requested and telephone number or email address for contact details. Number two, four original duly accomplished report of marriage contracted abroad form, typed or printed, legibly in black or blue ink, signed by both husband and wife, and with a notary public signing and acknowledging that both parties or the one living if the other party is deceased, at the time of reporting with the consulate, personally appeared before the notary public. So we got our form notarized in a bank where my husband has an account, so we got it for free. But if you're gonna do it in a notary public, it might cost around $20 or in UPS, I think it's about $5. So if you wanna get it for free, you can visit your bank where you have an account, so you can get it for free as well. Then number three, one original and four photocopies of the marriage certificate or contract. And then number four, one original and four photocopies of the birth certificate of the husband. If Filipino, it must be the birth certificate issued by the Philippine Statistics Authority or PSA. The number five, one original and four photocopies of the birth certificate of the wife. So if Filipino, it must be a PSA document as well. The number six, four photocopies of a government-issued identification card or passport of both husband and wife. And number seven, processing fee of $25 payable in cash, postal money order or cashier's check made payable to the Philippine Consulate General. So as for me, I had it in money order. Number eight, include in a package a USPS priority mail flat rate envelope or box if you have really thick documents that is self address and post age prepaid as the return envelope with USPS tracking. So you're gonna include in the mail another priority mail envelope that looks like this. And then at the back, you're gonna put the address from the Philippine Consulate General and then your address. The USB is also going to give you a tracking number so you can track if your documents are on the way back to you. For additional requirements, if the report of marriage is filed after 12 months of the date of marriage, a notarized affidavit of the late registration of marriage must be accomplished. For contracting parties of the marriage who were previously married, the following additional documentary requirements must be submitted. 
the Filipino applicant had a previous Philippine marriage annulled, so you have to provide an original and four photocopies of the annulment order. And then if the Filipino applicant is divorced, you must provide an original or certified true copy and four photocopies of your divorce decree. And if either groom or bride is widowed, one original or certified true copy and four photocopies of the death certificate of deceased spouse must be provided. I'll share with you guys the sample of my report of marriage cover letter so you can use it as a reference. And aside from the documents that I've mentioned, I've also included additional requirements. It's optional actually, but I just felt like I want to be extra. <laughs> so I've also included the photocopy of the K-1 visa entry stamp and one photocopy of the port of entry form I-94 and one photocopy of NOAA 1 from my adjustment of status. And after you completed the documents, you're just gonna put it inside the priority mail. So you're gonna put all your documents here. And a self-address return envelope. So let's say for example, Let's say for example, this is a, an, an extra priority meal. You're just gonna fold it like this and put it inside the priority meal envelope. And that's it. <laughs> and don't worry guys, all your original documents will be sent back to you. And from the date that I've submitted my documents, it only took 6 business days before I receive them. Once you receive your self-address return envelope, so they will return all your original copies and one copy of your report of marriage form and the other photocopies of your documents like birth certificate, marriage certificate, and passport photocopy. So that's it. And also a receipt of $25. So that's all guys. It's so simple. You just have to check the documents from which Philippine Consulate General you belong to. And as promised, by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you the sample of my report of marriage cover letter. You can use it as a reference. It's free. <laughs> But then again, as I've said, check the Philippine Consulate General from where your marriage has been contracted because they can have a different set of requirements. So you better double check it, guys. So that's it, guys, and see you on my next video. Bye!